India's New Delhi, AP, the richest man in Asia's country, India's Adani Group, has retaliated against a study by American shortseller Hindenburg Research, calling it malicious, baseless, and chock-full of selected falsehoods. Since Hindenburg released its report claiming fraud and other wrongdoing, shares in the conglomerate have experienced significant losses. Shares in a few Adani companies gained some lost ground on Monday. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited gained 3.3%, while the parent business, Adani Enterprises, increased by 3.2%. However, between 5% and 20% of the shares of other Adani listed firms plummeted. The independence, integrity, and excellence of Indian institutions, as well as India's growth story and aspiration, were all the targets of this deliberate attack, according to Adani's statement. The Hindenburg company responded by refuting the claims and claiming that Adani's answer mostly validated its findings and neglected to address important issues. It said that the group was attempting to equate its achievements with that of India as a whole. Mining coal to support India's rapidly expanding economy has made Gautam Adani and his family extremely wealthy. Infrastructure, ports, data transmission, media, renewable energy, defense manufacturing, and agriculture are just a few of the industries represented by the conglomerate's businesses. Adani's personal wealth has increased by around 2,000% in recent years. According to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index, Adani temporarily overtook Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos to become the second richest person in the world with a net worth of close to $125 billion late last year. With a fortune worth $92.7 billion after last week's losses, Bloomberg's index put him as the seventh richest person in the world. According to the Hindenburg research, due to their exorbitant values, the seven major Adani listed companies have a 85% downside, just on a fundamental basis. On Wednesday, investors started selling shares connected to Adani, erasing over $48 billion in market value. Despite the value of its shares falling significantly below the price range of the offering, Adani announced over the weekend that it will proceed with the sale of shares in Adani Enterprises as planned. Adani Enterprises was trading at 2850 rupees, $35 on Monday, up 3.2%, but still far below the initial price range of 3112 to 3276 rupees established for the offering, which ends on Tuesday. The leverage ratios of Adani portfolio firms continue to be healthy and are in line with the industry benchmarks of the respective industries, according to Adani, rejecting worries about its debt-fueled growth. Jugshinder Singh, the chief financial officer of Adani, stated that the business has a $30 billion total debt, of which $9 billion came from Indian banks, in an interview with CNBC TV18 on Monday. Only 30 pages of Adani's response, according to Hindenburg, were devoted to the problems it addressed, the remainder were made up of court documents, general data, business financials, and irrelevant corporate objectives. It claimed that Adani had not directly responded to 62 of the 88 queries it had addressed. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.